Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is how to import stock market data to Excel on Office 365. It will only work on Office 365. Okay, so very good disclaimer here. If you are working with an old version of Microsoft Excel, we have a video about how to do that and the video is in our video description okay but it's much much easier now so i strongly suggest you if you are working with an old excel uh, just move to office 365 at least on stock market data it improves a lot so let's see how does it work let's go to our excel file and all our excel files are free and the link to download it is in our video description and by the way guys subscribe to our channel it's very important to us and like our facebook video accounting hub by dr scarping so first of all what do we need we need the companies and we don't need the full name of the asset or the full name of the company Excel will try to find it. Okay, so let's work here with these 19 companies. It is better if you start with on your second row because the first row, uh, okay, let's type it here company and so on. So it's the name of our variables. So what do we do? First of all, most common mistake select all of our companies if you select all if you do that they will find only for apple okay so we have here some non companies apple boeing cisco system delta airlines dollar tree general El electric and so on and companies from the u.s and from other countries such as brazil for instance embraer and petrobras they are brazilian companies so first of all guys let's sort this one company okay now it's pretty so select all of our companies go to data again stocks convert to stocks so Excel will convert this company in the stock in the name of the asset let's come do the magic and okay man when we have this sign here that is the same sign as here okay the conversion was a success when we have this blue interrogation that means probably we have more than one asset with the same name so they open here the data selector and first company dollar tree let's look at it and let move me here we have two dollar tree in the first one on nasdaq the second one on london stock exchange and the extra no the zitra sorry brazil stock exchange and so on a lot of dollar trees so it doesn't own work with only u.s stock market i was not able to find a stock market that they don't work okay but i cannot guarantee that they work with all of them so the first one dollar tree on nasdaq stock stock market okay and here guys before we move on disclaimer financial market information provided as is and not for professional or trading purpose or advice what does it mean it is only for you to use it don't put us on a professional report and so on we cannot guarantee and blah 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 oh only for them to be legally protected Embraer they are listed in more than one stock exchange in four okay it's a Brazilian company but let's keep the New York Stock Exchange and if you are not sure if you click here it will show you some uh, some additional info so select here general electric 
New York. Which one is this? Bolsa de Bolsa de Comercio de Buenos Aires. We don't want Buenos Aires here. So again, New York Stock Exchange, Macy's. Macy's. It was problem of wording. <laughs> Sorry, so Macy's. Petrobras, Brazilian Petroleum. So Brazilian Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange. Petrobras, New York Exchange. Another Petrobras, New York Exchange. Probably two different assets. So here's some um, assets. Let's take this one. Pfizer uh, on India. So India is here as well. Bombay Stock Exchange, Buenos Aires. So let's keep the New York. And now we are good. So okay, now Excel was able to find all of our stocks. Okay. Now select everything again, and it will show you this button here, insert data. What kind of data do we want? Field. Uh, so, 52 week high, 52 week low, beta change, change in percentage, currency, description, employees, exchange, high industry, low name, official, open, Volume, price. So let's start here. 52 week low. 52 week high. See? 52 week. Oops. 52. Oh, sorry. 52 week low. 52 week high. Let's take price here. Okay, let's delete and let's do it again. 52 week low, 52 week high. For Macy's, they were not able to find it. And price, price here, but here, Macy's, it is on euros. Something really bad happened on Macy's. So, I have no idea why Macy's is in Euro sign. So, because it is dollar based, and now they were able to find it. So, okay, now we are good. So, let's double check this Macy's information here. Let me open. So, Macy's stock. Yeah, twenty two eighty nine USD. So, okay, twenty two eighty seven. So it is was only a problem of currency sign. So not a problem on Excel. So when it happens, go on Google and double check it just to make sure. And it refreshes from time to time okay so here we can find our uh, names and so on okay we are good so what do we have more here for instance quantity Let's create a wallet here. So I have 103M, uh, 250 Apple stocks, 80 Boeing, 70 Cisco, 20, 200 Coca Cola, 300, De oh, 399 Delta, okay, 480 Dollar Tree. 500 Embraer, 600 GE, 
250 JJ, 190 Macy's, 900 Nike, 450 PepsiCo, 500 Petrobras, 600 Pfizer, 800 Starbucks, 200 Target, 100 Tesla, 500 Walmart. And then here we can use the total. So here quantity times price, copy and paste, and here we have our total, so now my retirement fund or my college fund or whatever, I have $819,000 here, okay? So, quite easy how to do it, and if you want to refresh it, just close it, open your file again, and it will be good. So, you will be very, very good on that. Okay, guys. So, and here you can compa compare your price with the lows and so on. And what if we want to add additional info later? I want the better. Now, select again. Beta. It's here. So we can have them here again. Or I want to change. Change, changing percentage. Come here, changing percentage. I want to know the currency. So all of currencies here is the USD and so on. So we can, and then the change here, it is percentage. We can change it to percentage. Okay, and then we go on and we can create a wallet for us to follow the stock market on Excel or to add it in another kind of uh, Excel sheet, in other kind of report and so on. Okay, guys, so that's it. Quite easy to to find it so a lot of info here okay guys so let me delete delete this row here move the total here and delete and now this is the excel file that you already have okay guys so thank you so much if you have questions or comments leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com have a very nice day and God bless you.